Mr. A514. Your detention commences now. Initial data collected from the Voyager, and its deployed probe, tell us very little about our destination planet. We understand that there is a suitable atmosphere, oceans of water, plentiful vegetation and acceptable gravity, but no information exists on the diversity of life, if any, that inhabit the area. The hastening decay of our ecosystems, demanded that a colonization mission be implemented, before more data could be collected. We quite literally, have no idea what we are sending you into, yet the continuation of our species is dependent on your success. The chart shown, represents the total time in which Earth has been capable of supporting life in an advanced form. The detached segment, conveys the duration of mammals, as the dominant life form, and the small circle illustrates the time, in which mankind has evolved and ultimately destroyed this environment. The remaining, larger area, displays the reign of reptiles, giant lizards that ruled the planet unchallenged. Logic dictates therefore, that all colonists should be educated on this time period, due to the high likelihood of reptile coexistence. Four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a small fiery planet circling a newly created sun, accumulating central mass from leftover debris in its solar path. A very different place than the one your parents called home. Constantly bombarded during this period, a major collision with a smaller planet would send a fragment of Earth into near orbit, to later become our moon. Over the next billion years, the core would gradually harden and meteorite impacts would bring much needed water for the outer surface to cool. The water that you've been sipping in your drink bottle, is the same water that was delivered during this time. It would take another two billion years before an atmosphere thick enough to sustain cyanobacteria could form and the final ingredient necessary for life, oxygen, could be produced. All life forms are built from the same six elemental ingredients. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. With these elements in abundance the Earth was finally ready, for the dawn of the dinosaurs. Their part in Earth's history exists within the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, which occurred from 570 to 65 million years ago. These periods, are further divided into nine distinct segments, each culminating in a significant environmental change that rearranges the established food chain. As one species falls, another rises that is better suited to thrive in the new ecosystem. A valuable lesson that history has taught us repeatedly, is that species domination is directly linked to its environmental impact. 65 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, a large meteorite impacted with the Earth causing the mass extinction of 70% of the Earth's population. All dinosaurs, and the vast majority of above land creatures, were instantly eradicated, ushering in the beginnings of mammal, and eventually primate, compatibility. The story of all life begins with the Cambrian era, so let's take a closer look, at a very, different Earth. barren, desolate, lifeless. No birds fill the skies, nor fish the seas. The Cambrian Earth is totally void of all animals, trees, grasses and insects. No life, not even bacteria, can be found in this upside-down world. This is nature's empty canvas, onto which will be painted all life in due time, but for now, this, is what a beginning looks like. Five hundred and seventy million years ago, 
all land was concentrated at the bottom of the planet, south of the equator, and divided between the largest continent, Gondwana, and three subcontinents, Laurentia, Siberia, and Baltica. Modern day, India, Africa, and Australia, were all centered at the southern tip of the planet, while Antarctica and Alaska enjoyed the most tropical of weather. The majority of the globe was covered with a vast, singular ocean of clean water. Plentiful oxygen, warm temperatures, and shallow marine bays, like this one, will play host to the most intense period of evolutionary advancement, in all history, known as the Cambrian life explosion. The diversification happening here today, will have consequences that echo throughout all time. Over the next 45 minutes let's lay witness to the birth, of every species chain, and watch as this explosive growth, overflows onto the land. But before we can walk in the footsteps of dinosaurs, we need to find a deeper pool, and get a little, wet. This looks like a favorable spot. You might want to hang on to something. Primitive forms of single and multicellular green algae have started thriving here, grouped together into resource-rich columns that mirror the appearance of modern-day seaweeds. Amongst them are scattered a small range of sponges. Plant-like in appearance, sponges are actually one of the simplest of multicellular organisms. Nutrients and oxygen in the water are filtered internally and exhausted as carbon dioxide. The most prolific species found in the Cambrian Oceans, are trilobites, small segmented arthropods that possess hardened exoskeletons. These will become the genetic predecessor to all lobsters, crabs, and insects. Let's see if we can find some. All detainees are required to observe compulsory attention deficit breaks. Your session will continue after a short five minute recess. Awesome!